my channel today i'm going to do like a day in life kind of vlog i've got a lot going on over the next two or three months um i've got to pack up this studio because i'm no longer going to be here um i decided to hand in my notice so I've got to be out of here by the end of February, but I'm sure I'll be out of here long before then. I've already started packing a few things. Um, I'm also planning on moving, like moving home. Um, I'm going to look at a flat on Monday, actually, which I'm going to buy. Um, it is available, and if I like it, I'm going to... Um, try and buy it it's only a, like um a tiny little flat so you know it's got one bedroom a bedroom and a lounger together um and it's got quite a big kitchen and a bathroom um it's actually got a bath for a little flat as well so it'd just be nice for me and my boyfriend and my tiny little dog it's just enough and then like further down the line we're gonna buy somewhere bigger but that's just for future way 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 in the future which i'm not going to think about um so yeah i've got to go look at that on monday <laughs> so there's a lot going on obviously we've got christmas i'm working over christmas so i'm not going to be celebrating christmas as much this year i'm just going to concentrate on moving and all that kind of thing so um yeah i'm just going to kind of do a day in life i've got to phone up um the estate agent to see what time my actual viewing is because it hasn't actually been arranged it's just being arranged monday but not actual time um and my boyfriend's gonna come have a look and we might have a little walk afterwards we might just like make a day out of it on monday because it's kind of our only day off together monday so I might go for like a nice winter walk um so yeah today i've got to make some little bauble decorations they're going to be from upcycled disney books so i've got to do those i've got to paint the back of those and then um what else i've got to do a few of my pre-love clothing bits and bobs and then i'm just gonna start packing a few more bits and then go home it's not gonna be a long long day in the studio today um because i'm straight back at work tomorrow and saturday so i just rather rest for the evening um so yeah first things first i need to call up the estate agent and um yeah and see what time i need to go on monday so I called the estate agent, it went straight to answer machine, so I didn't get very far with that. So hopefully I call back. Sorry about all the junk there, that's like my rubbish area for when I move out. So first things first, we've got to do a tip run with all the rubbish I don't need and then I've got to box everything else up. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a very exhausting couple of months, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. So yeah, I'm now going to just carry on with some work i'm going to make some christmas baubles like i said so i've got these tiny little ones um which i just thought were really really sweet i'm gonna paint the back of it white i got this paint from wilco if you're any craft if you do crafts and all that kind of thing wilco test pots are really really good it lasts a long time for smaller things as well i mean i've had that for about six months now and i've done loads of different crafts with it um so yeah they're just really really good um just need a couple of coats on things like this um and i think they're like one pound 25 so they're just really really good um for any craft kind of lover um so yeah what i've got is these books here these old books which i had and i do not really know what to do with them and obviously because my shop is all magical related um i thought they might be nice to do some upcycled products with um so yeah i'm gonna make some christmas baubles so i'm gonna like cut out some of the really nice images in these books and um place them on here and pop possibly put a little bit of glitter on or something I'm sure i'll do something so i'll do a couple of samples first so the books i have are uh, this one um lion king i got the fox and the hound i love the fox and the hound it's one of my favorites uh goofy go one of the goofy books i'm not quite sure what that one is actually arista cats which i also love because marie is like one of my favorite favorite disney characters hunchback and i've got hercules but i think i've used quite a lot of the images up in there but yeah i've got about 20 circles i'm gonna try and get through as many as 
possible i haven't really got a lot of other orders to do today so i should get quite a few of these done so yeah let's um get cracking So I've just cut out all the little images. How sweet are these for the little baubles? These also make great um, badge badges as well. If you have a badge machine, that might be an idea. Um, I also thought about doing some bunting out of um, upcycling these books. That could be an idea. Um, yeah, I'm just bubbling on now. While I was cutting these out, I was also thinking of ideas what else I can make with these instead of just throwing the books away. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to wait for, I've got to do a second coat on these, and then I'm going to wait for them to dry, um, and then I can start sticking these on. So these are actually quite a very easy DIY kind of project to do. Um, I just love making little bits and bobs, it's really, really nice. really keeps my mind at ease as well. Um, so if you hear some drilling, they're doing some works on the road outside. Um, God knows what they're doing now but anyway um so yeah while i'm waiting for them to dry i'm just gonna tidy up a little bit have a little bit to a little bit of lunch um i went to poundland to pop a few bit to get a few bits for work um like food wise because our food shop isn't coming till saturday and it's currently thursday so i just popped to get some what did I, get? I picked this up because i do eat a lot of plant-based meals um, so I thought that would just be ideal for work. I can just pop that in the fridge when I get there. And then I just picked up some pot noodles. I do love the curry ones. They didn't have any chicken and mushroom for some unknown reason. So I just popped some of them for work and to probably to have one in a minute. So, yeah, because when it always gets to the end of the week and we start running out of food. So especially fresh things in the fridge so yeah I just have to pop to get some meals otherwise I'm not going to have anything for work so um yeah I'm just going to do a little bit of tidying up now and wait for them to dry and I'll start cracking on with those um yeah I'm just going to stop babbling on <laughs> so I've done all the baubles white they are pretty much dry um so let me just take these out I'm going to have to put my coat on in a minute. My heater is smelling like it's burning, so I've turned it off. Um, I don't want to risk it catching on fire. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get my coat on because it gets really cold. Because I'm in a basement, it gets really cold so easily down here. Um, but, yeah, so I've cut out all the bits and bobs I need. and These are all painted. What I'm going to do now is just get a brown pen and just sharpen up the edges and then I can start um, sticking the lovely images down so once they're stuck down I can just cut around them and um, put some glitter on top so um, let me crack on with that now so let me just grab a brown pen so these pens I bought from a place called Baker Ross um, they do like all sorts of arts and crafts mainly for like schools and like you know craft schools and things like that like preschool um but it's a really good place to get some craft bits and they do these really nice pens which are really really good for kind of like woodwork um and you just simply just go around the edge so you just sharpen up all the paint which has kind of gone over the edge um but they're really really good pens and if you don't like painting um, if you run a business and you don't like painting that much um, these are really really handy to have because um, they basically like paint pens so yeah I just kind of use these to just sharpen up the edges and then I can start um, sticking
So I've stuck on the images as you can see and um, I've just glued some glitter on the back of them so they look a bit Christmassy. So I'm going to wait for them to dry um, and then I'm going to do some glitter on the front as well um, and that will probably be as far as I get today because they're going to take some time to dry and then when we're coming next time um, I need to put the holing um, and just put some really nice thread through them and then hopefully they'll be up on my Etsy shop by the end of next week so that'll be just in time for Christmas which is perfect so let me just turn you around so um while I'm gonna wait for them to dry um I need to pack some parcels for my um pre-love clothing shop which I'm gonna do in a second and I also want to film a TikTok for my pre-love clothing shop as well um so I'm gonna do that now while this is drying and then I can come back to this afterwards so I want to film because I like doing like movie clips on um TikTok so I got this dress which is very clueless sorry my head's going out the camera it's very clueless like as you can see here um it is up on my depop shop um so I'm gonna film like a little clueless video and i bought this hat from home which was originally from primark which i thought would go really really well so i'm gonna do that now and i'll link my tiktok below so you guys can actually see what the video has turned out like Parcels are all um, wrapped up, good to go. I usually do the Royal Mail drop-off service, but because I haven't got as many orders today, I'm not going to bother. I've just wrote up the address. But uh, the drop, if you run any business, the Royal Mail drop and go service is really, really good because you can basically just do it all online and then simply drop it off. It is such a good way to run a business. Um, especially if you run one by yourself like I do um, so yeah I'm just going to carry on with these are kind of drying out so I'm just going to glitter the other side and then I'm going to go to the post office and then go home I like to go to the post office ideally before 4 o'clock um, because it doesn't seem to be as busy usually at the one I go to at that time but um We'll see, we don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna do finish these now and um, probably then head home. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really much else to do today. So they're looking good, absolutely love them. This one's actually one of my favourites where they're dancing and I also like this one with the fox having a little feed with the bottle, that's really really sweet. So yeah I've got so many to do, um, they're all from Upcycled Disney books so I'm just waiting for them to dry. Um, maybe if they dry in time before I leave I can start putting some thread in them. but we'll see so i'm virtually there with my day um i forgot to mention it's actually my mom's birthday at the weekend so i made her some presents um i get really stuck for like christmas presents and birthday presents so i made a lot of things when my granddad was around i made a lot of things for him so i just thought you know, I'm going to make some items for people this year and um, not go too overboard with money because obviously buying a flat and everything is going to be expensive. Um, so I made my mum a few items and I just got a few little like pampering bits and like boots and things like that. Um, yeah, so I thought making handmade things is just nice because it's 
you know, you put effort into making a present, which people always appreciate. I think for Christmas, I'm going to make some candles for my boyfriend's mum. Um, and then get her some flowers or something like that. So, um, yeah, I forgot to mention that I actually made a few items for her. Um, some are Christmas related items, which is nice. Um, and then I need to pack this and a couple of parcels for the post office. And then I think I'm pretty much good to go. Um, so, yeah. I know once again this is kind of like a little random vlog um it's just so hectic at the moment um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this vlog it kind of gives you a little bit of an insight of what i do on a day-to-day -day basis obviously i don't go home and just chill uh, well you don't know that but um i go home and i tend to edit quite a lot of photos which i put up on my website and things like that while watching a film or something like that um so yeah that is another vlog i really hope you enjoyed and um i'll see you in the next one bye